Santa Cruz is a multicultural city. Since century, this port has been an important link between America, Africa and Europe. Today, the 15% of the residents are foreigners. Santa Cruz has a privileged spot. It's well connected with all the other major cities of the island through the TF5 and the TF1. In just 45 minutes, you can get to the international airport and in just 15 to the northern one. And the ferry port will connect you with the other island of the archipelago, mainland Spain and Madeira. Santa Cruz bus station is the largest and link the city to the whole island with 33 bus routes. Let's remember the public transport are free for residents. There are many school options if you're moving here with your kid. From public to private, bilingual or not, there are British, German and French schools. Now let's go for a Sunday tour, starting with the Mercado de Nuestra Señora de Africa that is open every day and you can find fresh local products. Then we go to the flea market that takes place in José Manuel Guimera Street every Sunday morning. Here you can find anything, even drills, sword, bite a perrito and drink a caña. Let's continue with this nice Japanese restaurant where I show off my skills with chopsticks. For uh, three course each, we were in two, a lot of wine and beers, so we spent 130 euro in total. Welcome back to my home studio, <laughs> you can see. Uh, now let's talk about prices for rent and buy a house in Santa Cruz. So, the cheapest rent that I found is 600 euro a month. Of course, it's not in the center of the city, it's in the suburbs. Got two rooms anyway. That is not bad, uh, it's just 65 meters square. It's a modest house, but in a good price range. Then, if you want something a little bit more comfortable, closer to the city center and with a garage, here I found an example with two room garage, uh, it's 950 euro per month, close to 1000 euro per month. That's more or less the average price of rent right now in Santa Cruz. If we want something a little bit more fancy and spacious, there is no limit to the price. I found this one that it doesn't have a bad price because it's not right in the center of Santa Cruz, but it's a little bit in the outskirt. And the price, as you can see, is 1,600 euro per month but have a communal swimming pool, three room, and 176 meters square with garage. Let's see now what are the prices instead for uh, buy a house in Santa Cruz. Let's see. The average price in Santa Cruz right now for buy a property is 2,000 euro per meter square. But obviously depend from the location and the position where is this apartment or this property. So I take out two examples, two flat, uh, both with two rooms and garage, one in the city center and one in the suburbs. So the one in the city center, it cost 265,000 euro. And the mat, this one per meter square is coming 3,500 euro per meter square, more or less. Why? If you go out in the suburb, this apartment uh, is in Costa Sur and you can see a big difference of price. This one is 139,000 uh, euro and the mats have come uh, 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 um, 1,950 euro per meter square. So a big, big difference. So we are arrived at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave a comment if you have to comment something. Subscribe if you like to. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!